Okay, so in this question, the graph shows the variation of speed v of an object with the time. And uh, there are other graphs also shown below. Uh, which graph shows the distance s traveled with uh, traveled by the object uh, varies with time t. So uh, we need to find we need to draw the graph for the displacement versus time, and we have velocity versus time we have. So on close uh, uh, inspection of this graph, what we can see is velocity is a vector and velocity is positive for all of the time, whether at this position or whether at this position, velocity is positive. And yes, in this part from O to, let us say the highest point is A and this point is B, from O to A, the velocity is increasing its value and from A to B, the velocity is reducing its value. So it is increasing, velocity is increasing and velocity is reducing. The point to be noted is velocity is still positive. It is never negative. So velocity is a vector and we take this direction as a positive and this direction as negative. And we are saying that velocity is always positive. It means the velocity is not changing the direction. So the distance is not reducing. Now he talks about the distance. So uh, it's not reducing. Right? Anyways. So what happens in this is, let us see all the four graphs now. These are the four graphs. In this, the distance is uniformly getting increased. So definitely this is wrong. And in, in this graph, you see for some part, the displacement or the distance is increasing in a parabolic fashion. So this is when the velocity, see velocity is the slope of ST curve. Now, first we say that for this much part, the velocity is increasing. So the slope is positive and it is increasing. So, <clears throat> so here the slope is positive and it is increasing. But as we move to the next part, the velocity is still positive, but definitely the slope is reducing. So up to this level, Velocity is positive and it is increasing. The slope is increasing. And for the second part of uh, <clears throat> this, I can say that velocity is positive, but the slope is reducing continuously. The velocity, the slope is reducing. So um, it will be perfect to say that this is the correct answer because this matches with the description of our graph. In this, it is saying that the displacement is reducing and sometime after the body is reaching the same destination again because the displacement has become zero and that is not possible because the velocity is not negative. So this is also wrong. And in D part, the slope is positive everywhere, but first it is reducing and then the slope is increasing. So it means that the first the velocity is reducing and then the velocity is increasing and the velocity is positive. It does not change the direction, but hence this question, this answer will also be wrong. So B is the correct answer for us. All the best.